A. I'm going to try and show you a little bit of how I get some of the details on some of my uh, portraits here. Uh, just started this one of Hendrix. I wanted to show you the eye, but I had some time last night, so I just started it. But uh, maybe I'll get the, the next one. I'm not going to go through all the tools that I use. And as I use them, I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, I got some music playing in the background here. I don't know if they're going to flag this when I post this. But last time I had Pink Floyd playing, and they uh, when I went to post it, they said, Do you have artist permission? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I spoke to uh, Roger Waters last night. I said, all right, mate, it's okay. You can use my song, but uh, they hadn't uh, taken it down. So, all right, what I try and do with the skin texture is get as much of the detail as I can uh, because it adds up, and at the end, the least little inconsistency or is gonna show and it won't look realistic. I try to get photo realism. Uh, and it, too, it has to do with the picture, the quality of the picture I'm, uh, that I'm doing, you know, my reference. This one isn't too bad. Um, all right, so I'm using a B pencil and a of these guys okay mechanical pencil so I try and get as much of the skin texture as I can first with the mechanical pencil then I'm gonna blend it and go over it with the B if I stop talking you could just watch if you like because it's sometimes a little hard for me to talk and do this at the same time so I'm gonna I started this area here, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I don't know if you can see on the reference, but you know what, let me start on the other side because you can't see. Okay, I started this around the bridge of the nose. Okay, I just did that with some B, a B pencil. I just try and get it as smooth as possible around where you see this here, this dark point. Here I'm gonna blend it out, and here I'm gonna try and get the lines of the skin. The uh, shading is important. The direction of the light, it's it all adds to the realism. So I'm gonna start over here, and the, I try and keep it the way that the wrinkles and the lines in the eye go. Keep the flow. So he yeah, has to go over here. If you look at the original, there's some lines going down on the nose here. I'm just gonna do a short section. I don't wanna make this video too long because I know, you know, people are not gonna really have that, you know, attention span to watch this for like 15, 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna do one little section. I'm gonna do like right here. And if I notice that it doesn't really show the lines in the reference photo, I, I pretty much use my imagination the way in the, uh, you know, the directions that the lines go. And with, the, with this pencil here, you can get a lot of detail. So I just get it started like this. I'll either use a blender or Q-tip. All right, I'm just gonna blend it lightly just to get some value in there, some, a little bit of darkness. Get it all even as I can. I could always take that out with parts that are too dark I could take out with a uh, eraser like a kneaded eraser that I use something like this okay so that's a start uh, I have a tendency to put stuff down and I don't know where I put it okay I'm 
if you see here, it's lighter here. So I'm gonna, I'll pull some of that out with an eraser, but I wanna try and get like the, um, like the creases in the eye, like the line in the eye. So I use this as a Tombow eraser. And if you see uh, the end is like, if I can get that to focus. It's like angled. I cut that with a uh, razor. It's gonna have to be a little, go a little darker. I use the regular pencil for that. I just wanna try and get some of these lines in the eye so the skin looks realistic. be surprised how each little detail makes a difference. Each value, it, it, uh, you have to try and stay consistent, consistent as you can with it. And like I'm seeing this part of the eye sort of has lines like curving. I just do them very lightly because if you do it too, too dark, it doesn't look real. It just shows up as lines. Like I did the same up over here, sort of. And to get the real look of the uh, lines, I'll pull some out with the eraser, pull some graphite out with the eraser. It's time consuming. It's very time consuming. Uh, like I say, depending on the reference reference photo. If the reference photo is not clear and you want to make it exactly like the reference photo, I mean, you could just, you know, use the the shading. But I try and, uh, you know, even if it's not there, like you see, you can't see every line. I try and bring it out anyway because it helps with the realism of it. And like the eye here, I used a couple of different types of pencils, went over it, tried to get the shading like the original. And the main part, before I'm gonna end this here now, the main part is the proportions. If the proportions are off, the whole the whole portrait is not gonna it's not gonna look right the least little distance between the eyes or the eyeball i still have to touch this up a little bit but it shows and you're gonna see it like the uh eyeball here if that's not just right and it's to one side or the uh, source of light or the shadowing, it'll take the whole picture off, off the whole, uh, I'm sorry, the whole drawing will look off. So what I try, I skip around a lot, but what I try and do before I go on to another part of the drawing, I try and make sure The part I'm working on at the moment is finished. I mean, I could always go back and uh, another thing is, you see this is a very dark reference photo. I start with the dark first, with the darkest point first I try. That way I could judge the lighter, the lighter portions and see that it looks pretty much close, but. All right. Uh, and I'll work on this spot. Like I'll go over it and over it again to make sure I got the eye that I'm happy with it before I go on to the other the other parts. 
Uh, I like doing the eyes first because, I mean, there were times that I did, did started with another portion of the face and then I got the eyes and it was very hard to get them right. So once I get the eyes right and it starts to come to life, I'm, I feel good moving on. All right, that's all I'm going to do now. I'm not going to make this too long. Hopefully you watch. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a Facebook page, Paul Claro Art. Instagram, Paul Claro Art. Uh, follow if you like. Thanks.